Hi and welcome to the Omnia Radiation Balancer test results. We're going to be showing you how microwave radiation from phones, laptops, Wi-Fi routers is affecting your body right now. But we're also going to show you how the orb will reverse those effects. What we're showing you today is actually the results of something that is invisible. And what I mean by that, and we've covered this on another video, is that if I took this EMF meter and I held it against this phone or any radiating device, a laptop or Wi-Fi router, then the levels of radiation are very, very high. Um, but there's something else that's invisible, which is the electrical current in all of your cells, your billions of cells. What we're saying is that there's a reaction between the imbalanced microwave radiation fields and the normally balanced um, healthy vibration of your cells. And Omnia has knowledge of exactly why that happens, which you can find on our website, which is unique. Um, so anyway, let's get on with the tests and we'll show you what happens when those two fields meet. Hi, so let's get on with the three tests. And the first one is on live blood analysis. And this is where we took three samples. And the first sample was when I had my phone turned off all morning, I went in and took the first sample, so that's the baseline. The second sample is after watching 20 minutes of video on an unprotected phone, a radiating phone. And the third sample, we applied uh, an orb patch to that same phone and watched 20 minutes of video again and took another sample and had a look at the results with Gareth Edwards from Food for Life. As we move around the baseline sample, we can start to get an impression of the interaction of the red blood cells. There's an area there where they're stuck together, but generally what we're looking for is an overall impression from the sample as we move around it. And we can see that there are large areas where the red blood cells are separate from each other. There are individual areas where there may be some adhesion but that may be around an air bubble um, or towards the edge of the slide. Uh, so generally, we can sense here that there are fairly substantial tracts and areas where the red blood cells sit separately from each other. They're residing in their own space. The, the majority of the areas that we look at, like this, show the red blood cells in their own space with the plasma around them. When we moved the camera around the sample <clears throat> after Tim had been using the phone without the sticker on, straight away we see that the red blood cells are much more adherent. They're sticking to each other much more. They're what we might refer to as rouleau is present. We can see that wherever we go in the sample, there simply isn't a visibility of red blood cells residing in their own space. They're, they're much more chained and sticking to each other. So we're moving on to another observation here of this same sample. And, and again, I mean, we see the odd patch where there may be some separation, but generally speaking, everywhere we go, we, we see adherent red blood cells sticking to each other. When the red blood cells are stuck together like this, movement through the capillaries is likely to be compromised. The tasks of delivery of oxygen to the cells of the body and the elimination of carbon dioxide is likely to be compromised. So this is not an ideal scenario when the red blood cells are adherent, as we see here in these pictures from sample two. Now, when we move on to the sample taken after the shield had been applied to the phone, again, we move around the sample and we're back to seeing a situation where, although there is some adherence, the general picture is one of red blood cells residing much more in their own space. 
we move around the sample so that we can get a sense of the overall picture. And yes, there are rouleaued areas. This is a human being's blood, and there are other factors other than the phone that affect that situation. But when we look at some of the stills, yes, again, we can see some of the red blood cells adhering to each other, but there are tracts and areas, again, where they're not where the red blood cells have their own space, much, much more than in the second sample, which we can see here and here. These are stills from the video that we took of the third sample, which is a much more desirable scenario for health, balance and well-being. So, my, my view, uh, as I've said in the commentaries, there were observable differences there, Tim. Uh, I'm, I'm slightly surprised when I see this, but, but I can't, you know, deny what I see. So, the first one, there was a, a degree of cohesion of your red blood cells. Um, the, some of your red blood cells were sticking together, some were misshapen. The, 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 your blood is what it is. Second uh, observation, which we did after you'd been using the phone, there was definitely more cohesion, more coherence, that the red blood cells were sticking together more, which, which in live blood analysis, we, we don't think that's a great thing. Those red blood cells need to pass through capillaries. Sticking together is, is not an ideal scenario. Um, then in the third uh, observation, which was following uh, you using the phone with the patch stuck to it, uh, there did seem to be some relief. The red blood cells seemed to be less adherent, less sticking together. Um, so, so that's what I saw. And you can pause this video here and have a look at the live blood analysis test results. The second test that we're going to do is kinesiology, otherwise known as muscle testing. And this is where we test the body's strength when it's presented with a stressor. And in this case, the stressor is the mobile phone, but we're also going to test on a laptop as well. And it's a really good way of seeing how the body's electrical signals react when you're presented with something that might disturb your body's energy field. We're with Lucia and we're going to do some kinesiology. Now, kinesiology is using a muscular biofeedback to diagnose imbalances in the body. So, we've got a lovely body here and we're just going to see what happens. So, I'm going to ask her to lift her knee. Very good. And I'm just going to ask you to use gentle pressure and just push against my hand as I push down. You resist that for me. And push. Okay, that's great. We've got a nice, strong, lovely muscle. Okay. Yeah. Great. And bend the knee. And so we're doing exactly the same as we did before. So just apply the same pressure as you always did and push back. Okay, so you can see that muscle's gone completely rock so uh, weak, <laughs> the opposite of rock solid. All right, now we're just, we're just going to take this little sticker. Can I unstick it? Yeah. And we're going to apply it near the SIM card of the phone. So she can keep enjoying listening to her film or music stress-free and hold it with both hands like you did before now that's this is this is in real time that's been on there for a second and push back and that's strong but what we know now is that the stress from the radiation on the phone is causing weakness in her body when we put that sticker on that muscle goes strong again uh, yeah I basically spend my whole day on the computer until about six o'clock. And what about the rest of the family? What 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 are their pastimes? What well, kind they, of things do they get up to? They, once they get back from school, they're pretty much on their screens for the rest of the afternoon, evening. Yeah. yeah. So between phones and laptops and iPads and yeah. Kindles and computers and desktops and TVs, TVs. it's a lot of electricity mm. going through your house. Oh yeah. Okay. I mean, you can hear it at night. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. It drives me nuts. Okay. So she can hear the electricity in her house. Mm -hmm. Okay. So today. And push. And she's strong again. 
Now what we want is we want good strong firing muscles. We don't want weak muscles. Um, it's really nice to work with a body because a body never lies. Um, and so we use, and every muscle also connects, like you can use a muscle test. One we use often is the quadricep because it's a very strong muscle. So you can really see when that muscle goes weak. Any Wi-Fi or 4G, 3G um, frequencies that are coming in, um, the muscle will respond immediately. It won't think about it. It won't kind of wonder, is this good for me or not? Um, where your mind might get too um, involved or confused. It will just say, yes, I like this. No, I don't like this. Thank you very much. If your red blood cells are fighting to function and give off hemoglobin, and if your whole body is going weak as a result of holding onto a mobile phone, um, then your adrenal function, your adrenals are kicking in constantly trying to do things that your normal energy cycle should be doing. Um, which then puts a stress on your spleen and your pancreas, which could lead to diabetes, which could lead to chronic fatigue, which could lead to all sorts of blood sugar, blood problems, um, and inflammation, and then that could lead to osteoporosis, osteoarthritis. Um, certainly it's going to weaken the immune system. If you haven't got a strong immune system, how are you going to fight infection? Um, and I mean illness tends to target the weak spot it's a bit like a bully so if there is an if there's something that's coming into the body and it just it will just go to the weakest point um, generally speaking I, mean, I have yet to meet anyone who doesn't test weak when you put a mobile phone especially when it's streaming uh, into their hand So we're now going to work with Austin, and Austin is one of those rare people who doesn't have a mobile phone, but he does have a computer, or a laptop rather, and he does use it, how many hours a day would you say? Twelve. Twelve. Twelve hours a day, and how much of that is on the internet? Twelve. Twelve hours a day on the internet, okay. okay. So, bend this knee, and I'm just going to ask you to resist the knee back way for me that way, and just using gentle pressure, just meet my pressure, and push. Okay, that's great. That's a very strong muscle. There's no way that muscle is going anywhere. All right, now bring me the computer, please. But there is something on. Okay. Now, the weight of this alone would probably switch anybody's muscles off. So we're going to also do it without pressing it on his body. And push into my hand. Okay, that muscle is so weak, it's not going anywhere. Now, Austin, can I just ask if you just hold the computer? And we'll bend the knee. And push back. Okay. Now, Austin, have you ever had kinesiology before? No. Are you using the same amount of muscle strength that you've been using? Yes. Okay. So, would you agree that the muscle was strong and now it's very weak by holding the computer? Yeah. Okay. We're going to try one of these Omnia stickers. And push back. That muscle isn't going anywhere. Our third test is on the structure of water. Now the human body is between 75 and 95% water depending on whether you're in the bones, the muscle or the blood. And the blood is about 95% water. The bad news is that water absorbs radiation. So we've seen what effect radiation has on the blood through the live blood analysis and we've also seen what effect it has on the strength of the body and its nervous system in the kinesiology test. But what we want to do now is see whether applying the orb patch to a phone can affect the structure of water because if it can then that's good news for the human body. First of all we need to explain the importance of hexagonal water. Every life form vibrates. Dr. Emoto observed that vibration travels through water and leaves an imprint. He devised the technique through water crystal photography to freeze and record the different structures of water. Certain samples, as you can see above, show a clear hexagonal geometry in the water, like a snowflake. The more negative vibrational patterns do not. As Dr. Emoto said, anything that is in tune with Mother Nature manifests as a beautiful hexagonal structure. Anything that isn't, doesn't. 
It represents the life force of Mother Nature. And the absence of water crystals from a sample therefore means that the life forces in that area have been compromised energetically. So let's have a look at the Omnia results. Working backwards, we have sample three, which was the baseline, and that's mountain water known to be contaminated by metals, and it shows imbalance and no hexagonal structure. Sample two was the irradiated sample. The same water was exposed to phone radiation for five minutes, and it shows imbalance and no hexagonal structure. And sample one was the protected sample. When the orb is applied to a radiating phone, and is exposed to water, there is clear impact on that water. It is crystalline and hexagonal in structure. And here's the certificate to prove the research was done by the Hardo Life Institute. For us, this is indisputable proof that the Omnia method works excellently and that the Omnia radiation balancer patch is not only preventing all possible hazardous effects of the microwave radiation of the radiating devices, but also is bringing already unbalanced living cells back into perfect balance. And that's good news for your body. The way that the Omnia radiation balancer works is that you apply a patch to any radiating device and it meets the imbalanced radiation field that connects with that device and it resets the radiation to a balanced wave field so that it can no longer upset or harm the vibration of the human cell. We've shown you the results of doing this in our tests so if you want to be sure that the blood in your body is balanced that your body is nice and strong and the nervous system is no longer under stress and the water in your body is nice and structured and crystalline then we urge you to put a, an orb patch on all your radiating devices today to bring balance back to your body. It lasts forever so if you just put one on each of your radiating devices then you're done. Thanks for watching.